to the World Cup. Um, Alright, this is Rio. So, um, we spent a lot of time down in Rio. Um, okay, so let's all imagine we're going to the World Cup next year. So, you guys plan this vacation and you're saying, okay, I'm going to Rio for the game, but I want to do something different. I want to go to the beach. If I'm going to go all the way to Brazil, I'm going to spend a little time. So, what do you do? Most people, uh, louder, alright. Most people will, uh, will click on TripAdvisor, do a search, figure out pretty quickly that Buzios is, you know, pretty close to Rio. It's about an hour and a half. Beautiful, beautiful beach country. You're probably going to find this hotel because it's the number one ranked hotel in all of Buzios. Uh, it's a small hotel. I've actually stayed here. It's fantastic. Um, so let's just take a survey. You see this. Who's going to click on one of these travel partners to book the hotel? Anybody? Who's going to click on the hotel website and go see if you can book there? All right. Great, because if you click on a travel partner, it's going to cost them 15 to 20 percent commission for that booking. But if you click on their website, it doesn't cost them anything. However, number one hotel in Buzios, tons of traffic, and you have to fill out a form when you get to their website. Uh, this is fairly normal. Uh, I don't know if anybody's traveled in Latin America. Um, even with bed and breakfast here in the States. But in Latin America, only 4% of hotels are actually bookable online. So 96% of the market is actually still in this kind of format if they're lucky. If not, it's a phone call or a Skype name or anything they can to just connect with you. So for people like this, we've actually created Dashville. We've created a very, very simple and easy to use property management system. Uh, that we're focusing on under 50 room hotels, specifically in Latin America right now as far as our sales process is concerned. Um, take you inside the app. Uh, basically, this is what they see when they log in. Very simple interface. They can click to book, uh, you know, put a booking in. If somebody calls them, they can click there, add a new booking to their system. Really simple, calculates the cost automatically. It's just ex extremely, extremely simple. Um, here, let's go to show you on the rates board. This is something, you, the next tab. Okay, you can go there too. So what we've done, we spent a lot of time on the rates board actually. This is something that usually complicates property management systems. We made this almost like Google Calendar. We found most of our clients are actually using Google Calendar or Excel to do their bookings right now. So if you click on a day and a time, you know, a day in a room, you can literally schedule it like you would a Google Calendar invite. You can set it for multiple days, you can set a new price for a uh, time range, you can set it for that day. If you want to offer a special, set the minimum stay and save, and it gives them different colors so they know what kinds of rules they've added. They can remove a rule if they decide, oh, you know, I don't want to offer this special anymore. So that's basically you set up your rates, set up your rooms, and then you go in to set up your booking widget. Um, so it's a very simple process. They can customize their domain name, they can customize their booking agreement, cancel policy, put a new uh, color for their widget, change the size, and basically create, create your widget. Um, and basically they can have a link that they can either install this into their website with code, or they can use this link that they can actually add to anything. They can add it to an email, they can add it to a promo, they can add it to TripAdvisor, whatever they want. Uh, we can also use that link to push it into places like Google Search so that if you're searching in Google, you see the price range, you can click the link, it'll go automatically to the booking widget page for immediate booking. Um, so, yeah, so that's basically, we want to show you a couple of our, our current clients down in Brazil. This is a small posada that's very highly ranked on TripAdvisor. Um, you click Reserve Us, and then you see our, our widget. Um, and then this is one of our first clients. She actually integrated the colors, so it looks really nice on her website. So we can show you as a traveler, you're coming in to book, uh, you click your dates, search, and then you get a very simple layout here. You can see what's available, um, click to book. You can change the language. Let's say that they're Portuguese speaking and you want it in English or whatever the case is. So you can actually see here we used a translate API so it actually goes in and translate everything automatically from what the hotel puts in <coughs> their system. Um, and that's basically it. So we, we launched, uh, we did Techstars in the fall, we were actually in the same class as Zeppelin, and uh, we moved here to Boston because of that. We have offices in Colombia and Bogota, my co-founder lives there with the dev team, and then we're in Brazil. And um, two of us, Andrea and Back, thank you for 
doing the demo. We live here in Boston. We work at Techstars office in Cambridge. And that's really it. So happy to answer any questions. rated TripAdvisor hotels are on our system, so you can book them. Um, eventually, as we get more inventory in, there's the option to go consumer. Uh, but in the in the travel industry, we really found that consumer side travel sites are extremely, extremely hard to market and extremely expensive. We've been through this ourselves. Uh, so we prefer to really stay on the back end, on the B2B side. It's much more profitable. So um, there's actually a trend happening right now, and there's been a lot of articles, especially in the U.S. and Europe. Um, a lot of these hotels, what happens is someone like Booking.com will come in at a 12% commission, and now in Europe they're 20%. So they'll just continually push the commission up and up, and the hotels don't have any way to fix that. Um, so there's a little bit of a, a trend and a shift happening right now. I don't think that online travel agencies are going anywhere because they're huge and they need billions of dollars in bookings. But there is this trend to get back to, you know, getting direct to the hotels. You can get better deals. You have better communication with the owners. Um, so we are watching that trend in the states of Europe. Um, I think the problem in Latin America is that most of these hotels don't have anything. So even if you wanted to book on their site, uh, it's pretty hard to do so. Um, even Brazilians that I talk to are pretty frustrated. So, um, yeah. So it's something to watch over the next years. They'll never go away, but I think they'll be a nice. Um, what do you think, like, the typical, because I guess, like, really in the end, the end user is the person who's doing the booking, the person staying for the hotel, so, like, what's the most typical, kind of, like, easy flow, process flow of the user, like, is it TripAdvisor, hotel website, through you guys, or are there other mechanisms, do you guys help the hotels with SEO purposes so that they pop up in organic search? So everything that we're doing right now, I mean, we'll probably connect with the channel managers so that they can manage all of their reservations and booking.com and Priceline just so they have that availability to seek that. Uh, but every integration that we're doing personally is to drive more traffic to them as a hotel and things that will enable them. So we're looking at uh, tools that we can integrate like SEM, how do they buy the right keywords. These are small business owners, so there's plenty of tools that we can use and white label. Uh, we're also doing the integration with the Google Hotel Finder search. Um, we're working with TripAdvisor and some interesting projects. Um, we've talked, you know, I talked with HomeAway today on how do we drive more traffic from things that aren't going to take massive commissions from the hotels. And, you know, that's something that in the end is really going to benefit the industry a lot. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's really our theory is to find those integrations that are really going to push traffic uh, for them. Um, who are you? Yeah, Airbnb, it's interesting. I mean, they're mainly focused on more vacation rentals. They don't really work with hotels, multi room type properties. Uh, they do a great job at what they do. We do have some users that use Airbnb, so we would integrate with their system. Um, with what we do, we typically, it's property management systems historically. We're removing a few pieces of the chain, so it's not. If right now, you pay up the 32% commission just to get a booking for a hotel. Um, so they have five links in the chain to get to the traveler. Uh, we're trying to reduce that and make that simpler. So a typical property management system, there's plenty in Europe and all over the states. In Brazil, every property management system that exists is local, and it's a local-based program. So you actually have to download the software on your computer, and there's no online booking component. So globally, there's a lot of players. There's some new startups in Turkey, and Chile, and India. And so they're, we're all kind of pushing in the same direction. Uh, but locally in Brazil, in the markets we're working in, there's, there's literally nothing. So pretty much focused. Yeah, our, I mean, we've learned in the past, it's better to focus on, when we're focused in 10 cities in Brazil on the top 10 TripAdvisor hotels. So it's very, very focused. 
Um, and we feel like we can really own this market for the World Cup and the Olympics. Yeah, I mean, you see less, um, less business travel. Everyone on vacation. Um, <laughs> less business travelers staying in, in bed and breakfast and inns like this. Uh, they typically will stay in the Hiltons and the, the Marriott, so there probably will be less business traveler traffic on it. Um, we see more leisure, like TripAdvisor searches and whatnot. So, I think I'm out of time. Well, is there a system designed to struggle in sales, or does it completely replace current expectations? It replaces everything they have. Most of them are switching off Excel or Google Calendar or pen and paper. Um, so this gives them something really fresh that they can use that's simple. Um, but it'll replace whatever they have, whatever property management system they do off of that. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Join Boston New Technology Meetup. Sponsor an event or a venue, present your idea, and attend to network with Boston's brightest. Details are at www.bostonnewtech.org and in the video description.